Have you seen Nell? Long hair. Sat next to me. Sorry. Hmm. Everything all right? Yeah. He'll wait. Till next time. You lost something? This one's nicked me wallet. Across the crowded floor, they worked from eight till four. They were young and they had each other. Who could ask for more at the Copa? Oh, the wallpaper's the starting to go. Where are the kids? In the kitchen. The Nothing. A lot. <laughs> What's she doing this one? This is your favourite. <laughs> Music and passion were always the fashion at the Copa. They fell in love. <laughs> Copa Cabana. Hello. Oh, his name is Hello. Pico. He Sorry, no, yes, it is Laurel. Can he you just speak up a bit? To his chair. He saw Lola dancing there. What? And when she finished, he called her over. Is he OK? Rico What's went happened? a bit too far. What's Tony up? sailed What's across the bar and then the punches blew. Just yes, sloshed into the blood and the sea. Careful, you pipe down! And you don't know any more than that? Well, where is he now? Right, I'll, I'll come straight away. Thanks. Ashley's collapsed. They've taken him to the hospital. Hey! Hey! Nell! Thanks a lot. What for? I can't believe that you'd try and rob me. I didn't. Well, somebody did. Wallet. Now. I told you, I haven't got your stupid wallet. We can wait for the police, then, if that's what you'd prefer. You call the police? Not yet. But I will. I didn't touch anything. I'm sorry. Sorry that I caught you? I needed money for the bus. Well, you could have asked. If that's what you really wanted it for. Actually, I did take a lot of it. Do you ever tell the truth? I'm telling the truth now. Please don't say anything. I saw Chaz earlier. Oh, yeah. How'd that go, then? Odd, really. Don't know what to think. Oh, Ray, if you've got something to say. OK. Is it true? I imagine Chas put the worst possible spin on it. If I have a house guest recovering from surgery, I deserve some warning. Then it's true, but it's not what she thinks. Well, she said it was a breast enlargement. Oh, true. Which means, what, it'll cost half as much? Because even at that, it's... Oh, is that what's worrying you? Is that what's winding you up, the money? Because my daughter, the newly appointed superintendent of the morality squad, took exception to the whole concept. <laughs> I'm just a little surprised you can afford it. I mean, you've not been paid board and lodging, because I assumed that you'd... Skint. I am. Skint. It's on the NHS. And how did you wangle that? wangle <laughs> <laughs> Easy! Cancer! Getting breast cancer and having them both off. That's how I wangled it. This is Thomas. I'm Dr Taylor. I've been looking after your husband. What's happened? Is he OK? Ashley's experiencing problems with his breathing. Yeah, he's on antibiotics. I know, but they haven't been as effective as we might have liked. But the GP said they would... And nine times out of ten, they'd have cleared the whole thing up. But he's been coughing up some blood, and it's hard to tell how long it's been going on. He's hazy on dates, as you know. So, first thing is to get him in for an X-ray, and then we'll have a clearer picture of what's really going on in there. He'll be frightened. He's a little disorientated, but he's been looked after very well. We've given him something to bring down the temperature, and he's having help with his breathing. Can I see him? I want to see my husband. I'll take you. 
I was only just getting my strength back after the chemo, so I was still immersed in it. And you know, you'd be amazed how it just can take over your life, the cancer sphere. You read all the books and the blogs. Oh, that's how I found Sarah's fundraising site. It was that recent. Mm -hmm. The op was eight months yesterday. <laughs> Oh, they, they usually stick a new pair in at the same time, but... Uh, um, do you think you should be doing that? Positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then it all went pear-shaped when I died on the table. Sorry, what? <laughs> what did you just say? No, yeah, I went into cardiac arrest and when my heart was restarted, of course, they had to bring me round. Not that I knew anything about it. I mean, they could have told me I'd leapt off the table and gangnammed it down the corridor. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> but apparently it's as safe now as at any time to have the op. So... But still, you can understand why I'm a bit funny about it. Then you turn up here, in the middle of all this. Mm -hmm. You've seen how they are with me. It needed fixing. And, you know, it's true what they say, and they always say it because it's true. <laughs> Cancer really makes you realise how short life is and how you mustn't waste it being estranged from your family. Because my Brian, my ex, had died before my operation, so I was on me Todd. And coping with this is hard enough on your own. And then, if God willing, you survive. You've got to ask yourself the question. What's the point? What's the point? If you're not living your life and sharing it with the people you love. Ashley? Going home now. No, I don't like it here. Yeah, I know you don't, but you're not well. No, no. No, don't get upset. No, you're not a real nurse. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm your wife, Ashley. Ashley, it's Laurel. Laurel. You need to get better, okay? You need support. You doing? No, nope, just a bit of promotion. The book's been out nearly two weeks now, and no one's interested. There's nothing, hardly any comments, not even bad ones. They're all just going on about some stupid story set in the Victorian times about the First World War. Just because it's got a hunky soldier on the front with no arm. Hang about. If he's got an out on, how do you know he's a soldier? Because <laughs> he's backing a weapon. Yeah. Cheap tactic to sell more copies. Well, two can play at that game. What do you mean, two can play at that game? Nothing. <laughs> Gonna see it. Later. Gonna see it now. Well, I'm busy. Let me look at the cover. Tracy! What, David? It's... What is wrong with you? That's my bum. So? It's lovely. Much better than Captain Posh's or whatever. We agree, it? Tracy. That one was for private. Please tell me you haven't sent it out yet. I haven't sent it out yet. Good. Except to a few blogs and forums and on a tiny email newsletter, but... Oh, David Doe, you look lovely on it! You never asked! You should have asked! Stop posting it! You're all right. No, 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 no. Come on. No, no, no. 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 Ashley, no, no. the doctors no. can't no. make your cough better. No. No. It's fine, no. Ashley. No. Come on, Sal. No, no. We've come no. this far. Yeah. You won't know what's up with you if you don't go in. Yeah, come on. Just fine. Thank you. Thank you. Just said you were up here. Why are you with the kids? My niece is with Diane. How is he? Yeah, he's poorly. He's very poorly. He's, uh, 
He's coughing up blood. He can't breathe without the mask, which he keeps taking off because he's getting confused and frightened. So, in some ways, he's a bit more bothered than he was before, even. But the infection might take hold. And you never know, Dad, he might slip away very quietly, and then we can all return to your stupid talent show. He's so ill, Dad. <laughs> I know. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it seems like once they've seen the x-rays, they don't know for certain what's next. But if it's just a chest infection, you wouldn't have thought it'd be too difficult to clear it up. You know, it seemed funny at the time. We never thought it would end like this. But it's bringing him out of there like that, dressing him in his old vicar gear. If we'd known he's going to take off again. You were being kind. Nobody could have known. When they're like that, you can't take your eyes off them for a moment. All right, best get off. Render and the kids. Will you phone me if there's any news? I'll make sure you're the first to know. And Bob, thanks for looking after him. He's my friend. You okay? Don't think about anything except the next hour. First, one hour at a time. Then. One day at a time. That's what we're meant to do. Actually, I was thinking about the meeting and what I did, you know. You mean robbing me? <laughs> Somewhere else I can't show my face now. No, that is the one place where no one will judge. Everybody judges. No matter what kind of mess we make of our own lives, there's always someone else we can look down on. No one noticed. <laughs> and anyway, you're coming to the next meeting. I'm going to see to that. Why are you being so nice to me, after what I did to you? If you're worried that I've got an ulterior motive, then stop. You're not my type. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Here, choose something. You haven't answered my question, though. <sighs> Everyone has at least one moment in their life when they need a helping hand. Even if, well, especially if they don't know it. You remind me of someone. I know you're talking about, don't I? Choose something to eat. I'm starving. Now, I know it's not going to be easy, but you've got to tell Chaz. Why? Because you've just got to. Yeah, you said that, but why? Oh, it's this age we live in, isn't it? Everything's got to be out there on the screen. Tweet this, update that. Blah, 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 blah. You all right? Well, she knows about the surgery. So you're halfway there. In any case, you owe it to her to tell her. She's your daughter, and you can't mess around with this kind of thing. Oh, I presume by that you mean that because I've had it, she might get it. No, it's not the kind that you pass on down the line. She's no more at risk than anyone else. Well, there are plenty of other reasons. Didn't you say yourself? Going through the treatment and coming out the other end made you reevaluate about your relationship with your kids? Well, I'm here, aren't I? And yes, I do want a better relationship with Kane and Chaz. But it's got to be on my terms. Not pity. And I'm, I'm meant to be the strong one, aren't I? Remember? This isn't about being weak. She'll find out eventually. I'll fall out with you, Moira. I won't say anything if you don't want me to, but trust me, I know Chaz, and nothing escapes her for long. And how do you think this is going to make her feel? Like she didn't matter to you enough? Like you didn't trust her enough to tell her? <coughs> Hello. Sorry. Who are you? 
Ashley, this is the doctor. She's going to make you feel better. But you mm. need this on to help you breathe. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Dad. Oh. Ashley, oh. Ashley, here, here. You haven't got the results from the scan yet. It's no wonder he's having problems with his breathing. Um, it's a bacterial infection and it's affecting both lungs. Oh, right. Well, the state he was in, I, I was sure that you were going to say he had pneumonia. Oh, the same thing, isn't it? Your husband's very poorly. Is this because he was out lost for two nights? He could have picked it up anywhere, but he's malnourished. Well, it's the care home, you know, they do their best, but he hides his food. And being out in the cold might have reduced his ability to fight it off. We'll never know. But we will treat him with intravenous antibiotics. The oxygen will help him with his breathing, and we'll see how he responds. Do, do, does he have to stay here still? He definitely has to stay here. Yeah, OK. He, do, he gets frightened and confused. He might just get up and vanish. He's done it before. We'll see about giving him something to make him more comfortable. And with rest and fast-acting antibiotics, it's perfectly possible he'll be back up on his feet soon. <laughs> it's nice here. I like this villain. Oh, yeah? You all finished? Coffee? Dessert? Sure, my friend. I'll have a dessert. No, thanks. I'm full. Um, we've not been introduced. I'm Victoria. Nell, I'm a friend of Jay's from work. So, just the bill then, please. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, there you are. Ah. Nice to meet you, Nell. Sorry, I didn't want her to know. That's all right. Right, uh, back in a sec. What are the chances I come back from the bog and she's rinsed me of a meal and the cash? After all, she's tried it on before. <sighs> Do what you feel most comfortable with, Jay. No hard feelings. Came to see if you need a hand, slamming stuff about. <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't be a baby, David. I've said I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it's not your bits on display, is it? It's not your bits either. It's your bum. Yeah, and that's another thing. I never even had a chance to tan my bum. Why would you tan your bum? I don't know. In case it ends up on the front cover of a book. I look like the moon on a winter's night. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, you lied to me and you, you tried to trick me and I... I feel violated. I'll, I'll change the picture. Shame, though. Cos the ladies love that one. <laughs> what do you mean? The ladies? Oh, I don't mind how does that. No, but I'm still kind of interested, so... She said she'd buy the book just for the cover. Bootiful cover! <laughs> She's funny. Hilarious. She's called me a hottie. He's called you a hottie. Anyway, still nice. Oh, well. Make the most of it, cos I'm about to change it to something less beautiful. Ah! Nah, well... Maybe you've been a bit... you know... No, I don't know. Hasty. I thought you felt violated. Uh, yeah, yeah, not... Yeah, no, not in a bad way. Oh. Violated in a good way. You just kind of caught me by surprise, that's all. So, yeah, just... <sighs> use that one for now, you know, if it's going to help sales of your book. I mean... <laughs> well, thanks, then, for the meal and for not calling the police. You're quite welcome. On both counts. So where are you going? Room at the Ritz. Told you, mates. Really? Yeah, really. And this mate, you can trust them? 
Yeah. Or they wouldn't be a mate. Only there's a B&B &B next door. I, I know the owners. Things aren't that desperate, but... Thanks. You've been amazing. See you, Jay. Bye now. Sleep. We both did. I must have whistled us both into a coma. You don't need to stay. No, no, no. No, you're all right. I was going to get a brew from the machine. Do you want one? Thank you. Hey, listen. No. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I panicked. I lashed out. Daddy, you've been brilliant. What about you? How are you coping? Yeah, I'm OK. I feel better now I know what it is. Well, they're pumping antibiotics into him like nobody's business. A good night's sleep. I bet you things will look totally different in the morning. Yeah, I'm positive it will do. Me and that man have been through way too much. We're not going to be beaten by some... Stupid chest infection. I won't let it. Some of the stranger things we humans get up to on planet Earth goes into Harry Hill's alien fun capsule next tonight. Then at nine, with surveillance bringing clear evidence of the Bentley's criminal activities, can the team take them down? There's new drama in Prime Suspects 1973.